Why, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday video, and welcome to my, you know, pretty good Ben's Hall part two. So, I am assuming that everyone who has clicked on this video and is here to watch this today has seen part one of this Ben's Hall. And if you have not, I'm going to make that the first link below because you probably should watch that first to know what you're getting into. Today I've got a Ben's Hall for you guys that is freaking amazing. It is huge. It is full of all kinds of bolo brands, really amazing finds, designer, classics like Free People and Anthro, new bolo brands that I didn't know, everything on the spectrum, all the amazing stuff. Last time we went over the shoes, we went over the bags and other stuff. There was even some good home stuff. We went over the pants and men's pieces. So once again, check that out if you missed it. But Today we're going to be going over everything else that I have, and I kid you not, I have about an Ikea bag and a half still next to me that I am looking at and that I'm ready to show you guys. For the most part, all of this is listed. I put an asterisk on that because it's definitely not all. I cannot guarantee that every single thing is, but a lot of it is. And I only say that because I know there's a few of you that kind of like rushed over after watching the one last time to buy certain things because I've actually found some stuff that's like in sizes that you don't often find for the brand that they're from. Like there's quite a lot of large and extra large free people and anthropology in here and that's not super common that is basically all listed so if you are interested totally head over i will give you guys a good deal as i usually do but i just want to say before we jump into it i would never a hundred percent advise someone to like travel like a distance like a long distance as in like a flight or a really long road trip to our bins I know it might be tempting, and I, I, this hasn't happened before, so I'm just saying this just because. It hasn't happened before, but a lot of times I see people, like, jokingly or sarcastically comment that, like, they're booking a flight to Minnesota to shop our bins. Our bins are freaking amazing, but it is not a guarantee at all. This haul, as you guys know, is actually from last week and I did amazing last Wednesday. I'm filming this part two on the next Wednesday or yesterday, if you're seeing this the day it came out. And I went to the bins twice this week and the bins have been <clears throat> terrible, so bad. I wouldn't say that I even filled an Ikea bag from both days of stuff for me to sell and the stuff is just not that great. So definitely don't like, don't like come here just to go to the bins if you're suddenly getting that idea from seeing like the really good hauls that we show you guys because it's not an every time thing. And yes, I feel like for the most part you go and you find at least a couple things that are really good but a bins haul like this one is rare. I'd say it's happened to me maybe like three or four times that we must just get a big load in from like some of our richest cities and they all just go out at once is what my assumption is. But anyways, just in case someone's tempted, because I know a lot of people do like to travel to source and stuff. We do have amazing sourcing things. I think traveling here to source is a wonderful idea, but I don't think doing it just to nail like a really good like trunk filling bins haul I don't think that that's a great reason because it's not a guarantee, but there's plenty of amazing other places to source here. Trust and believe. Okay, enough rambling. Let's jump into part two of this haul, what you guys are absolutely here for and what you've all kind of been anticipating strongly. And so have I. First up, we're going to start off with something that is close to my heart. And that is, of course, this ooky spooky kooky sweatshirt. And this is a vintage jack-o'-lantern Halloween sweatshirt, as you guys can see. This is by a brand called morning sun which i actually feel like i have heard of i think they make like tacky vintage grandma sweatshirts and sweaters this one is so cute ryan pointed this out and i love this they're sitting on what looks to be like the blade tool that you use to carve jack-o'-lanterns i was like okay there's the inner art teacher finding the like little details in the artwork on the sweatshirt i love that next up we have a cardigan and this is a really crazy funky cardigan which i'm sure you guys can probably guess who it's by based on what it looks like so it's got all kinds of beads tiny little beads big beads embroideries stripes all kinds of stuff 
all over it. And the buttons are nicely hidden, which I really like. So you actually button it kind of like reverse so the buttons are on the inside. This is by Michael Simon, which I love to pick up. As I told you guys in a recent consignment shop with me, I don't really pick up Michael Simon light from normal thrift stores or consignment anymore because that doesn't do as well. Funky mainline Michael Simon I would pick up anywhere, especially if it's like really kooky crazy. Like I've seen ones with rabbits all over it that are embroidered. I've seen dragons. I've seen like crystals all up. Like they have some crazy ones and those are totally worth actually like paying up for. This is a one size fits all piece. I would say it gives me like probably like women's modern large. So if you're a large or smaller, I think that this would fit perfectly. The back does not have beads but I actually really like this very cool like color block it's very there's some kind of art or artist that does stuff like that that I really like okay next up let's just get these out of the way there's two really sad things they were really exciting when I found them and now they're just disappointing so I found this Yumi Kim new with tag dress it's a duchess wrap dress it's like velvet it's so nice it's so cute it's like a blush pink and it ties shut but unfortunately there is this big split kind of by the tie. So we'll see. I have some other stuff to get repaired at the tailor. And I probably will just throw this in that pile and maybe she'll just charge me like 10 bucks for that, hopefully, and then it'll be worth it. This is also pretty disappointing. And this is a brand called Acorn. It's vintage. This is a size large. This is the cutest little vintage sweater, but clearly you guys can see what's wrong. When I picked this up, I definitely thought that there were just like three holes and I could just stitch them because that's a really easy fix but there are holes everywhere on this. It is not in great shape. Even on the arm, there's some. I am probably just going to donate this or something, but if you want this, it's a probably originally a men's size large. I will sell it to you for like $15 with $5 shipping on Posh because I am just gonna get rid of it. So <laughs> next up, let's do a free people piece. So this is a sweatshirt and this is like kind of a mock neck sweatshirt that zips. It's color block and has these really fun, like that's the dolman sleeve, I believe, right? And it's a full zip. Okay, I apologize. I just had to fix that light that kept showing up right here, but it is gone now. So this is a free people sweatshirt. I think it is free people movement. Yes, it's Free People Movement. This is a size large, but it is so freaking oversized. I'd say like if you were wearing this form fitting, this is more like a size maybe 3X or 4X. It is really, really oversized. This unfortunately has some like wash wear kind of to it and some of that like pilling, that like light pilling. So I'll probably mark this a little lower. This I know is not listed yet just because I actually haven't even taken pictures of it because it kind of keeps like avoiding me when I'm taking photos. Here's a new luxury bolo brand. I grabbed this because of course, everything in the bins that day was like super nice. and. This this was cashmere, so I was like, well, that seems like a good sign. So this is a navy blue cashmere turtleneck sweater. So soft. I need to depill this. So this actually also is not listed. And this is by a brand called Massimo Elba or Alba. This is 100% cashmere made in Italy. And these sweaters are like $1,400. I haven't exactly looked at the resale value, just really the retail. So yeah, like $1,400 retail. Anyways, <laughs> here's another new luxury brand to me. I actually think I had heard of this brand before, but I'd never tried it. This is really nice though. So this is once again cashmere and it's a cable knit like poncho. This is just one side of it. And here's the other side. There is kind of like a little separation for your arm to come out as you can see. And this is by a brand called Marina Rinaldi. This is by her line called Voyage. And this is made in Italy. It's a size medium. Though I would argue that this is pretty one size fits all. I think I've seen this at a consignment store before and they had it marked really high, this brand. So I knew about it, but again, I'd never found it. And this would retail really high. I mean, I don't know her diffusion lines, like the Voyage line, but this would probably retail way over a thousand. 
So that's, that's great. Let's see. Next up, we actually have a robe. And this is a robe by Pottery Barn. I guess technically this could have been a home piece. This is also a one size fits all. And it is a woman's linen wrap robe. And it does have the belt, which is amazing. So it's 100% linen. It is really, really nice quality. It actually like the wrap ties on the inside, as you can see so that it stays shut better. But that's super nice. And of course, like a Pottery Barn robe retails for like 130 bucks. So that's great. We have another free people piece. And this is, this is a small medium or is it extra small? I think it might say extra small or it might say small medium. It looks like a small medium. So that's kind of what I think it is. The tag is kind of like worn off there. But this is like a teddy colored tunic sweater. It's like a V-neck and it's really long. It also has these drapey tie lace details at the bottom. Super nice. And I think I've had this in like a chunkier gray knit before. And that didn't do super well for me, but this is a lot nicer than that one is. And it's really, really soft. It feels like it's made of something nice. And the person did get it dry cleaned, but the tag's gone. It feels like it has like alpaca or wool in it or both, not sure. Next up, we got an Ever Eve piece and I just love Ever Eve. Lately, it's been doing so good for me. So this is an Ever Eve small. It's got a puff balloon like shoulder to it. It's a metallic gold and tan, just kind of like classic sweater. Really nice, really easy to store, really easy to list. So that was a great pickup. Let me get the other Ever Eve out of the way. This is Ever Eve size medium. And this is a slubbed pink, just like nice spring top. It's very Barbie pink, even though obviously like the Barbie pink hubbub is kind of coming to an end. There's always people that love pink. This I didn't know was new with tags until I put it in my cart or until I was going through my cart. So this is a super, super soft open hoodie in this like peach orange color. And this is once again, a free people piece. This is actually intimately free people. And it's again, a size large. This is so soft, which is probably why it's intimately. You must just kind of, it must be a lounge piece, I guess. It's also very elastic and it like bounces. <laughs> it's very like springy. Yeah, here's the tag from it. And it was 128 originally which for intimately free people is really high. So I really like that I found that. And if you guys remember, I think I, I think I told you last time that I just found like one bin of a ton of anthro free people. And if I didn't tell you that, now you know that. <laughs> so basically all of this free people in anthro, especially the large pieces were from one bin and it was pretty iconic. Another free people piece, I live this free people. It's like a slubbed plaid. I love this almost like ribbed slubbing to it. It would be so comfortable. It's also just super, super soft, but it's multicolor plaid. And this is a size small, but this is extremely oversized. Like once again, I'd say like even an XL could comfortably wear this. So that's cute. I almost feel like I've seen this top before. I don't think I've had it, but I think I've seen it otherwise before. Now we have a We The Free, Free People, and this is an XL. So this bin had a lot of large and extra large. Freaking sunshine. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. So this is a camo kind of like basic tee, which normally would probably be something I would consign. But since it's such a good size as an extra large, I am going to list it myself. Well, I have it listed. This is super, super soft. It's supposed to have that burnout like faded look to it. And I think that's really nice. That's also like the newer We The Free label. So there's a bunch of reasons that I want to sell that myself. Here's a new bougie bolo brand. It is called The Shirt by Rochelle Barons. It doesn't look super nice based on the label, but it was with a bunch of other good stuff, including that Massimo Elba sweater. So I was like, let's try. It's an extra large, and these shirts are sold on the online store Tutternuck, which sells super expensive, kind of like bohemian stuff. And these are like $250 new. This is like the prettiest one out of all the ones that I looked at. It is so intricate and pretty, the print. I love this. It'll be perfect 
for spring. And once again, I love finding a high-end like extra large. I just feel like that doesn't happen that often. Here is an anthro piece. And I only looked this up because it was with a lot of anthro. Usually with cloth and stone, I just assume that it's not anthro. And even when it is anthro, usually I don't want it. But this is an extra large, which once again, rare to come by. So I wanted to sell it if it was anthro. And sure enough, it is. So it's just like a linen blend striped, very like sailing on a boat blouse. It's got the like raw hem to the sleeves and the bottom. Really nice and really cute. Let's do the other cloth and stone. Kind of the same aesthetic and it's the same size. But this one luckily said anthropology on it. So this is also an extra large cloth and stone. Polka dot, linen once again, really cute. Would be perfect for spring, perfect for being on a boat or a ship or a cruise or on the ground or in a car or on a plane. I mean, you don't have to wear it on a boat. <laughs> then, bougie find. This is one of the first bougie finds that I had. And I was like, hmm, okay. Not my absolute favorite brand to sell, but I will obviously take it at the bins. And that is Lagance. And this is a size small. It is an off the shoulder floral, pretty bohemian dress. And it is, it is like a midi dress. It's very like classic 2016, 17 kind of aesthetic, I would say. This print and this colorway. So not like my absolute favorite, but of course this probably retailed for like $395 or something. So I'll take it. <laughs> Speaking of another thing that's very high end and very expensive retail, but not my favorite to find, though this is stunningly beautiful. This is Rebecca Taylor, and unfortunately she does not do that good a la 2023, 2024, 2022, maybe not even in 2021. This is a size 10, and it is a short sleeve, ruffle sleeve, ruffle neck, there's the neck, maxi jumpsuit, and it is wide leg, it is so so cute. It has a belt on the inside. And guys, you want to know the secret about this? The thing that like elevates it even further. So it has this beautiful floral print, but hidden in the floral print. Can I get this to show up? We will see. If I can't get this to show up, I will put in a picture. But there are hearts all throughout. Like here's one right on top of this blue flower but it is all th i was like let me use the flash out of my phone i'm filming with my phone there are hearts all throughout like embossed in hopefully you guys saw that somehow it's so pretty then we got a bowden kind of just like a classic find this is a size us8 just a like printed ruched dress very bowden very i'm gonna give it like two weeks to sell or i'm gonna consign it <laughs> then one of my fave things to find. This is, of course, as you can tell, the J. Crew sweater blazer. I love selling these. This is the outlet one, size medium. I don't care what label it is. They're all like exactly the same. I've had every different label of these. I love the camel color one. Honestly, all the colors do quite good. Camel is one of the better ones. Black is Decent. Leopard, I would not pay much for. That one does not do that well. Pink does pretty good. Blue does pretty good. So like all the colors do pretty good. Camel's one of the better colors of these to find. So that's great. Another anthro piece. And this is Maeve by Anthropology. It's a size extra small and it's a newer label. It's this like wrapped, ribbed, slouchy knit top. I don't know if I'd call it a sweater. I mean, I guess I would because it's very like knit, but it's not super thick. So this would be a great like Easter or just spring sweater with the thickness of it. So that's nice. Once again, kind of like I was saying last haul, like I don't get why Goodwill is getting rid of all the stuff that like is perfect for the upcoming season, but I'll take it. Speaking of spring stuff, could this be more spring? <laughs> this is a linen jacket that is this beautiful like sunflower print. And this is actually a newer Pendleton piece. So it's a Pendleton size medium and it's 100% linen. It's really adorable. Usually with Pendleton, I kind of stick to like Pendleton classics. So wool, plaid, tribal, that type of stuff. This is adorable and it's perfect for spring. So then we have another free people and it's another 
large free people it's intimately free people and i have not found a model picture of this yet so i do not know what this is if it's a mini dress if it is a tunic like maybe it's like a lounge sleep dress but also the sleeves do go like all the way down so maybe not but it has this fun like lace detailing up here and then the bottom's like kind of raw it's like a v dress sweatshirt thing then we have this really nice fleece and this is actually by a brand I love to sell, and that is Everlane. So this is from the Everlane Renew line, which I think they repurpose like materials. So this is a little like, again, that like washed feel for the fleece. It's not too bad, but it's definitely like a little washed feeling. I don't know if that's because it's from the Renew line or what, but this is a size small. And it's really cute. Classic sweatshirt, kind of like a teddy sweatshirt then another great spring piece by another brand that i'm not super excited to sell it's this really really cute little mini lavender slip dress with this kind of like peplum detail at the bottom it is by lovers and friends but it's new with tags and lovers and friends is on revolve and it's really expensive it's an extra small like i'm not gonna skip it i wouldn't get this anywhere else like i wouldn't get it at a consignment store i wouldn't get it at a normal goodwill but at the bins, I will totally get it. And because we're going into spring, I will give it a shot, but we'll see. This is freaking cute. Another great spring or Easter sweater. This is actually just Gap and it's a size small. This is the piece that started my free people in Anthro like onboarding. <laughs> like I saw this and I was like, I just want to go see what this is. Cause like, look at it. And sure enough, I liked this and under it was all this free people in anthro. So that was great. So thank you to this Gap sweater for helping me out. Look at how cute this is. It is an oversized small. It is so cute. Like you look like an Easter egg that has been like dipped in every color, which is iconic, like so cute. I think the inside tag is cut out, but also this, I think the website said this was like 2021 or 22. So it's super current, super adorable. Another anthro piece. This is a trickier one to hold up. It is kind of like a cold shoulder type. Actually, I don't, I think your head would go through here. <laughs> I think, or could your head go through like here? And it's, I don't know, I don't exactly know. I haven't listed this, but I will list this before the video goes up. This is Moth Anthro newer label i think ryan said he's had this before and it's a size large once again which is great fun like yellow color gold yellow very plush very soft talk about plush and soft this is my first time finding this brand and that's really exciting i really like this brand a lot it doesn't always keep a lot of its retail value into resale but it retails so high so 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 high and it still is a total total bolo so that is RTA. RTA is kind of a more like deconstructed Zadig and Voltaire, like punk high-end luxury designer brand. And again, I wouldn't pay up too much for it, but it's totally worth getting at like a Goodwill consignment store or the bins if it's a good price. So this is a mohair, is it just mohair? It's like mohair and wool or mohair and cashmere. Mohair and wool, size small, sweater. It's a turtleneck and one shoulder has that like slit to it, which has been really trendy lately. This thing is so soft, so fuzzy and so nice. I, this would be like walking around in like a blanket. It is so soft. Next, we have another great brand. We have an All Saints piece and this is an extra, extra large merino wool All Saints piece. This is actually men's and it is a ribbed open cardigan with the All Saints logo right on the chest there. This is a really nice All Saints piece because I'm not always like super into selling All Saints. It's kind of hit or miss. But this is really nice, especially with that logo. So I was pumped about that one. Another Free People piece. And this is a Free People dress. This is a Free People size medium. And it is an embroidered linen, very bohemian, very like classic Free People mini dress. It's in this nice like raspberry kind of like wine jam colored color. Ties at the back. So nice. Again, so classic, like free people. So that's great. Next up, we have actually a Lane Bryant piece, which is not something I would normally pick up because I just don't have luck with it. But this is adorable. 
So it's Lane Bryant size 14. And this is a beautiful metallic floral puff sleeve maxi dress. This is so pretty. I am obsessed with this. It is so nice. It is also from like 2022 or something like that. And I love to have some plus size in my store, of course. So I was very happy to pick this up. It's from 2022, so that's great. And it's just so perfect for spring. I had to, cute. Yeah, that print is just so pretty. Another of kind of the same color, and this is a free people piece. I'm not as excited about this one. It's a size small, it's intimately. And it's kind of just like a wrap, lacy, mini dress it's kind of like witchy it's almost a little y2k ish but yeah this one's not exactly my favorite but i'm still gonna list it and give it a shot i mean it's cute it's just when i was finding these other ones this does not <laughs> stand a chance against some of these others like this one this is like my favorite one this is a free people beach it is a size large and this is freaking adorable this like polo style puff sleeve green crochet shoulder sweatshirt so freaking cute like i would pay up to get this one this is adorable and it just you can tell by the style that this has to be so current because it's just so on par with what people like the green the crochet the kind of like polo style so cute. Then we have another cashmere piece, and this is a theory size large cashmere piece, black sweater with these beautiful white like piping stitching details. Very my aesthetic. I love this. And I've been having so much luck finding the theory cashmere lately for some reason. So yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. So this is another anthro piece and it's an extra small, but it's very oversized. It's Pilcro Anthro. It's a newer label as you can see. This is like a cowl neck, white, chunky sweater. Really nice, pretty classic. This is the stuff that I'll be more like avoiding at consignment stores and stuff now because we'll be moving out of the sun! I've tried to cover as many parts of that window as I can. It's just not working. We'll be moving out of winter and cold weather. Actually, today it's 53. I'm actually getting hot in here. I shouldn't have worn a sweatshirt, so if I look like hot, it's because I am kind of hot. I won't be picking up stuff like this as much when I'm paying more for it. But at the bins, of course, all year, totally pick that up. We got five more things. And then luckily we'll be done because this sunlight is probably irritating you guys as much as it's irritating me. Next up is a vintage Ralph Lauren piece. And this Ryan told me apparently is a really good find, but we'll see. So it's like the blue label Ralph Lauren with the uh, logo in the middle. It's 100% cotton and it's a size women's eight. And this is a really pretty micro floral dress with this like fun bib collar to it. It's like a cottage dress. We'll see if it's as good as he says. I could see it doing really good. It's adorable. And again, great for spring. We'll see, I hope he's right on that one. I'll have to put it on Depop because I feel like when he says stuff is good, that means it's a good Depop. <laughs> this is the one men's piece that I forgot to do because I needed to wash it and I still need to lint roll it. So this is a men's Vory piece. It's an extra large men's and this is like a Vory like what, cinchilla, basically? It's a full zip with these nylon panels to the front and then like nylon elbow patches, if I can say that. All the buttons save worry. This is so nice. And as I feel like I've said a million times lately, though Varley is not my favorite to sell, Vawari does amazing. So that is a fantastic find that I'm very excited about. Then, this is a really good one too. <laughs> We have this really cute chevron, mock neck, white little cuff detail sweater. It's 100% wool. I was gonna show you the logo first, but maybe it's not on the outside. This is smart wool. So cute. I forget what I measured this size to be. I might be a medium. I have it listed. It might be a medium or a large. I think it's a medium. This is adorable. I love to find smart wool no matter what, but one like this is fantastic. This is probably the cutest smart wool I've ever found. So <laughs> that's great. That's nice. That's awesome. Two last things, and I kind of saved some doozies for the last. So first up is this crazy, crazy like Sherpa 
fleece, full zip, but also like toggle, tooth, hook, whatever you call these, closure, super fuzzy, hasn't been like washed down or anything. It's in great shape. And this is actually by anthro so this is one of the things that stephanie gave me so stephanie the icon stay in an icon she is iconic this is a size small this is so nice so cute like come on it's almost like a bomber kind of fit to it so adorable and not a flaw to be seen i'm excited and last before I overheat and I melt. As the sun is finally moving out of the window cracks. This is a sweater. I had Ryan guess, so I'm gonna make you guys guess. This is, well actually Ryan wanted to guess and then he got it wrong over and over and over. <laughs> so this is a cardigan with this fringe detailing along the collar. It is belted. It's kind of hard to show. Can you see that? Maybe you can't guess if you can't see the whole thing that well. Yeah, belted, really nice cardigan. Okay, yeah, I can't really hold this up that well. This cardigan is by freaking Tory Burch. So this is probably like a $500 to $600 cardigan made in Peru and it's a size small. Very oversized, it could fit more than a small, but this thing is adorable and that is the newer Tory Burch label this is an amazing find I like never find Tory clothes or bags but when I do it's always like the really old label it's like a really bad out-of-date dress this is so cute <laughs> it has pockets it has a belt the belt's with it I think it's like alpaca and something it's it's wool and alpaca oh, it's so nice <laughs> Why can't every bins hall be like this? Actually, I mean, if every bins hall was like this, I'd be like listing and taking pictures like continuously. So it'd be nice, but it'd be tiring. Anyways, that's all folks. That's all there is. So I'm going to challenge you guys to tell me what are your three favorite finds that I had of this part and part one. And if you can't pick do like three from each or something. I'd be very interested to see what you guys consider like my best finds because it is hard to pick when the bins haul was this good. So this was great. <laughs> I had a really good time. I had a good time buying them and I had a good time showing you guys. Like I said, basically I'd say 95% of this is listed. So if you're interested, feel free and I will give you guys a good offer. But otherwise, I will see you guys on Saturday with Ryan for a normal What's Old Saturday. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.